Okay, in this video we're going to use our goniometer, our small goniometer, to measure forearm pronation and supination. In anatomic position, pronation and supination occur in the transverse plane. Um, when we test, when we take a measurement, we're going to measure it in the uh, frontal plane. The end feel for both pronation and supination is firm, and the normal value is 80 degrees, or 0 to 80 degrees for both supination, and then 0 to 80 degrees for, for pronation. So the patient is going to, you can do this either standing or sitting, it doesn't matter, but the patient's going to be zero degrees of shoulder abduction, 90 degrees of elbow flexion. Just going to bring your um, elbow forward a little bit. And so she's starting in forearm neutral, right, thumb up to the ceiling. So first we're going to do pronation. So I'm going to have the patient turn her palm down. And the um, fulcrum is going to go proximal to the ulnar styloid process. The stationary arm is going to be parallel with the anterior midline of her humerus, so you might want to stand, I was going to say, behind me and you can get a good look. And the moving arm is going to come across and be equally distributed across the dorsal aspect of the distal radius and ulna. So my moving arm was up here, you can see where you're starting on the goniometer, and it ended up right here at about 60 degrees of pronation. For supination, again, we have our start in neutral, and now we're going to have our turn palm up. And again, the fulcrum goes to the proximal aspect, just proximal to the um, ulnar, ulnar styloid process. The moving arm comes across the volar or ventral or anterior, whichever you want to call it, aspect of the uh, radius and ulna. And the stationary arm is, again, parallel to the anterior midline of her humerus. And so here she has about 84 degrees of supination.